Hello, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer at Austin Ableton Tutor, and my stage name is Rentac. So a lot of people are getting into finger drumming lately. I want to show you guys how to make a quick um, performance setup so that way you can use like one button to change which drum rack is active when you're performing. So basically I'm going to start off with a drum rack loaded into one MIDI track, and then I can play it with the push or whatever I'm using. So I group it to a rack. Once it's loaded in the rack, I can show chains. Then I can go to live browser view, and I'm just going to grab some more drum racks and just drop them in. We'll just get like two or three in here. And one more. We'll get this Mad Zach one in there too, because that one's a lot of fun. Now, once they're all loaded on separate chains, I can show the chains by pressing the chains button right here. And what I like to do is I like to select all of the chains and then grab the little blue zone editor. That's basically what's gonna play when the chain selector is over it. So wherever this chain selector is, it will play when it's over that zone editor. So right now, it's gonna play all of them. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna count out, I have one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna drag the zone editor out to four spaces and you can see the number four down there, which helps you locate it. And then we can make sure they're still all selected. I'm gonna go to distribute ranges equally. And now that'll snap them off. And noticed I skipped zero. Um, this is really handy because I think like a human and we start counting from one and not zero. And then I'm going to rename each chain because this could get heavily populated. And I'd like to know which is which. So I'm just gonna put numbers for each, right at the beginning of each chain, one, two, three, four. By reserving zero, you can always use zero to turn it off. Now from there, you can go and just create a clip, go into your envelopes, the E button, that'll show you your automation. And then it's already queued up because the last thing I touched was my chain selector. So now all I have to do is put in a breakpoint and just move it to whatever, whatever I want. So I'm gonna rename this one. And generally I would name it the name of the rack and I'm just gonna duplicate this four more times and go ahead and rename two, three, four, and then, and then go ahead and put everybody in its perspective place. Now I'm gonna add one more clip over here for zero. And we'll just move this to zero and that'll turn it off, which is really handy if you don't want to accidentally play your, uh, your drum rack. And let me go ahead and cut or color code these because I duplicated them instead of, so I'll just make them all different colors and I'm going to put them in order. And now from here, you have a lot of clip options you can play with. For one, I don't want them to loop, so I'm just gonna turn off loop. And also, depending on what you're doing and how you want it to launch, it's gonna be quantized to the global clock. If I don't want it quantized, I can turn off set quantization to none. But let me show you how this is gonna work. I'm gonna leave quantize on, and let's switch back to my device view. Now, now I'm just gonna start populating my live set. And this of course can be named per song or however I want. So I'm just gonna copy and paste different clips into different chains. Let's skip to four. And then I can just use a C launch. And as long as I have select next scene on launch set in my preferences under record warp launch, which is right here, select next scene on launch. I can map a foot pedal, a button, I can use the return button on my keyboard to trigger that clip and it'll queue up whatever, whatever uh, rack I wanna play. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this video very helpful.
I'm available for private lessons and classes online and in the Austin, Texas area. Feel free to contact me for more information and check out my website, austinabletontutor.com. Also check out my other videos and like Austin Ableton Tutor on Facebook.